Good afternoon. It is Friday. Friday afternoon. We are about to go to Lakeside. Also, Wade's daughter's coming this weekend, so we're going to pick her up as well. But we need to go to Lakeside and look in some shops. The weather's quite nice today, and it is the coronation weekend. So, coronation is happening tomorrow. And I wanted to do some gardening this weekend, although the weather is not looking that great for the weekend, although it is nice and sunny today. But I'm hoping it does warm up a little bit um, because I did want to get out in the garden and do some bits out there. And we need to start getting things like furniture and we want to have like a garden party this year. So got lots to do, but we also want to get some bits for it. So we thought we'd go to Lakeside today because we have to go over to the that sort of area anyways so it made sense to pop into some shops and see but i just need to get myself dressed i've been just lounging around in a long maxi dress and cardigan all day but do you ever have those days where you just feel like a potato like i just feel like i think it's because i went out last weekend and whenever i go out i don't know what happens to me but i go out and then i come back ill and then i spend a few days trying to recover from an illness i think it's because my immune system is just not used to leaving the house and I'm just so used to being at home or just going to work and being around the same people that when I then go and expose myself <laughs> to the wider population I come back sick so I've been recovering a bit from an illness I even lost my voice my voice is just starting to come back now and I can still hear like a little bit of a croak but it is finally starting to come back but I need to decide what to wear but I did buy some new trainers which arrived this week and I sort of feel like I should wear them because I've not even tried them on yet. So I'm going to think of an outfit that I can wear the trainers. But let me show you which ones I've got. So first pair I picked up was Converse's. Now, a little while ago, I'd say a little while ago, probably a long time ago, I can't actually remember now. When I did an Adnola order, I think I did a video on it, I bought these Converse's and they were the ones that had the brown thing underneath. Like they're like, I can't think of what they were called. But they were quite big. They had the brown spiky sort of bit and i just felt like it's a bit too much but then i saw a girl the other day in the gym wearing these ones and i was like oh i actually really like those and they're sort of going for the vibe of what i was trying to get out of those ones but a little bit less because they don't have that brown sort of track bit underneath so i picked up these black converses i used to be an absolute converse lover back in the day i used to have converses in literally every color um but they were the non-platform versions but i saw these when she was wearing them and then i saw them in the shop and i was like oh my gosh i actually love them so i picked these up i've not tried them on yet but i might wear those today actually i might see if i've got a nice little cute summer dress because you can wear a cute summer dress with converses can't you we'll see i've got those i picked up a pair of new balances i've been looking to get a pair of these for months and months and months and every time we've gone into the shop i've always then looked in there and seen like what colorways they had but the colorway that i was looking for was the like all beige colorway but i think they're the, probably the most popular version have i gone blurry um yeah i think they're the most popular version because they're always sold out they only ever have them in really big sizes so i thought let me just try a different pair and i saw these in office and i actually really liked them and you'll see why i love them so much because they're the ones with the green n so you know that i love n you know that i love n that doesn't make any sense you know that i love green so i saw these and i thought oh they would look really nice or maybe i want to wear these today oh, i don't know which ones to wear but I picked these up as well and I thought they were so nice. I've been seeing everyone with them. I was thinking to myself, do you know what? I need to find like the perfect green tracksuit. And I was looking on Adnola and the one that they had in there was sold out. So I might put my email address in to see if I can get notified when they come back in stock. So I might try these ones as well. I don't know. Let me try and find something to wear because I just feel like a front. I feel like I need to make myself feel a little bit better. You know, it's Friday, going to Lakeside. So let me find something to wear. And then we'll be on. Right, this is what I've gone with. Very, very cash. I'm just wearing my Gymshark leggings with the Converse's. And then this oversized jumper that I got from H&M ages ago. But I thought we're going to be travelling in the car. And it's going to be very quick in and out. So let me be super comfy. I was going to wear this cute white summer dress that I got from Mango the other day. It's got like, um, what's it called? Brodery detailing. It's very, very pretty. You can't even see it, can you? Can you see it? <laughs> worst showing of a dress ever but yeah i was gonna wear that but i'm thinking to myself that i might actually wear that over the weekend instead because it's quite a nice dress so maybe when we're going and looking at some plants for the garden then i can wear that dress instead because it's more of a summery dress 
Also, my parents are coming on Sunday, so we're going to go to the garden centre and stuff. So maybe I'll wear that then. We'll decide. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Can we go to bed? Bed? Let's go to bed. <gasps> bed. Bed. Go, go, go. Ready? You look nice. What do you think of my trainers? I like them. You like them? Yeah. Snazzy? Snazzy. Quick. Ready to go. They're comfortable. Urban. Are they? I, I was going to ask that because they're so flat. They're super like padded. Makes me Even feel like I'm on um, lifts. Lift. Platforms. Yeah, platforms. We are on platforms. I know. It's about this job. But they're comfy. Yeah. I know why she was into the gym. Yeah, happy days. Obviously, when I was, like again, I thought flat foot, not going to be comfy, you know, you're going to sort of like, oh, no, they're you're not flat foot, babe, the trainer, listen. Let's go. Okay. What are we going to get? Um, we are going to a home set, so we're going to look at a range of stuff. Um, confession, I broke a couple of glasses, not even glasses, mugs. I, I think broke you mug. broke more than glasses I broke and mugs. a bowl. I've also broke a pot as well. Didn't know the camera's gonna turn on me. Yeah. The Kill pasta me. bake pot. Yeah, one of her favourite ones. Which it had the you little ears on buy, it. Um, because it was personalised to some sort of sense or off like an Etsy shop. It was, no, that one was from HomeSense. No, but I looked to buy it again. Oh, yeah, you can't find so it. Because HomeSense it. is like one in a million. But I found the company. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I found the company. But is it on Etsy? Etsy? It's an Etsy company. Oh. Well, they're selling HomeSense, that's good. Well, it was, they obviously don't do loads of them anyway because th there was only one and I oh. think we got it. <laughs> no, I smashed it. So broke pasta dish, glasses, cups, bowls. Now our cupboard's looking very mismatched with all different cups in there. Probably it was due anyway. We also need to get all new plates again. A little while ago we got all new, was it like Christmas time? I think we got all new plates and bowls and we decided to try and go for the cheaper option well yeah well no we didn't go for the cheaper option it was it was cheap what which ones these ones not the blue ones no not the blue ones oh. the grey ones that we replaced the blue ones with mm. we went for the cheap option and, and now they're all cracked and split and rubbish mm. where the blue ones didn't do that so no the blue ones are quite good outdoor pillars What colour are we going for outside? Like green? Oh, blue? Green bush. I think the blue looks kind of like. This one? Looks right, no? Yeah, with the fences. It's like holiday vibes. Although, oh, remember, we've also got the new bedroom. That's quite a nice cushion there cushion. for the new bedroom. Do you not put it in there for maybe as well? No, yeah. Really we can look after. We've got to focus on the bedroom and the garden. Mm. I'm going to go up. You know already upstairs I'm looking for something like that. Like they look kind of cool but I'm going to get something else as well. Something like that. Oh for your room? Yeah. What's that for? The bathroom. The bathroom? Yeah, not in the bedroom babe. Do you think it's grandma? This is cute. I'm going to make you so proud. Note to self. It's cute. What is that for? Oh, I could even have that in my room. You like it? I feel like you'd have to... I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't think it's anyone you know. It's not the Queen, is it? No, that's not the Queen. She was younger? No. But also, you'd have to have a very neutral room for that. Exactly. They couldn't put that in the new room. Remember when I'm putting the panel in? That's going around, it's going to be black. Yeah, then you could have something like that. It's going to be a cool, cool shape. But not in the um, newly decorated room. No, that's going to be more neutral. What's this one? I know, she looks ill. She looks tired. Yeah, you see the Santa? Yeah. Have you heard of Santa? No, it says it did. It's like, take the net, 
Oh, an amazing yeah, girl. didn't it? And wasn't remember, it like, breathe. remember, go slow. No one needs to speed. We can do it together. What's that? What are you I think they must have downloaded motivational speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, sometimes they, they get certain props that pop up. They definitely suggest to one of them. I don't think I want anything in this aisle. It's all quite heavy, isn't it? Too much. That murder mystery, murder mystery sort of weapon. Right. Murder mystery weapons? Yeah. Do you like the pipe thing? Put your finger in there, girl. Is it soft? Get your finger in there and have a feel. Yeah, that's quite nice. I feel like you'd be quite fresh. So is that that one or Balfour? What's that? I thought you had it. Of course. <laughs> he pricks his finger in. Oh, this one's got a zip. Oh, zip. It's not as soft. I feel like that one's not as crisp. Like, you'll wake up and it'll feel a bit sweaty. I mean, several walls were on in it. And several... What's the thread of this one? 200 thread current cotton. Oh, it's the same. Well, that's combed. Yeah, combed cotton, and it's organic. So they, they brush that through, you know? I don't know if they've brushed the cotton. Well, it's, it's combed. Should you get this one, then? Mm. Or do you want to try the 1,500 thread count? Yeah, but you think that's just a little bit excessive? You wanted the 2,000 last time. Yeah, but this is going to be a smaller bed. No, you got the 2000 on that pink bed. Which was a waste because then we painted on it. And you didn't even like the 2000. Uh. You don't like it? I think that's why it goes that funniness. It is soft. I think let's just get this one. Okay, cool. Savile Row. And everyone, everyone type. Uh, I've got a feeling if it's right, but yeah, we're going for this one. Okay. Um, what does it come with? Where's your phone? You I got it. Duvet cover and pillowcases. Okay. So we sit. What's this? <gasps> sit. Being sure. Morning, happy King's coronation day. It is the coronation day today. So I have got myself up super, super early because I want to try and get in and out of Ikea as soon as it opens and out again and back. We're going to see how it goes. But I want to do a quick drive down to London. It Where I'm going to go to... Ikea, it's only like 45 minutes away, so that's not too bad. So do a quick drive to Ikea, run in, get some chest of drawers, which is what I want to get today, um, and then I also need to go to B&Q, which is right next door, so I need to run in there, get some paint and things, and if the traffic's not too bad, and it seems like I could also make it, I might run into Primark as well. We're gonna see how it goes. Do you know what? I actually didn't think about this last night. Last night I was sitting there and I was like, oh, I really wanna do like a little project tomorrow and it's gonna rain, so I can't do anything in the garden and I can't continue on with my bedside table upcycling sanding. So I was like, what can I do instead? And I really wanted to do something housey, projecty today. So I was like, oh, let me go to Ikea because we wanna get some trusted drawers for the new room that we just painted and I wanna do some upcycling to them. And I have actually been watching loads and loads of videos about how to properly paint Ikea furniture because as you guys know, my walk-in wardrobe that I did a while ago now, I completely painted that and upcycled it, but some of the paint has sort of like started to scratch away, so I'm thinking, I must have not done it properly. So I've been watching loads of videos about how to properly paint IKEA furniture, so we're gonna do that. I've now learned, I've got all the skills, all the knowledge is there. And I also saw a couple of other videos of upcycling the very classic IKEA mom drawers. So it gave me a little bit of inspo, and I've got all the things I need to get in my head, so I want to go and get that. Wade's literally just got out to get milk, so as soon as he gets back, I'm going to jump in the car, and I'm going to go and drive straight to Ikea. Also, I'm wearing my new New Balance trainers today. I actually quite like my outfit today. I'm going to try and put you somewhere that you can see it. And mine, the recycling in the back, that needs to go to the dump. But I'm wearing these, like, paper bag cream jeans from Zara, linen shirt, and then 
New Balance trainers, what do you think? Quite like this outfit today. Can't really see it with the trainers, can you? Can't really see it with the trainers, but anyways, I quite like my outfit and I'm finally getting to wear my new trainers. Although I'm not sure what socks to wear them. I'm wearing trainer liners, but you can see them. I think I need to get the ones where you can't see them. You know the ones that aren't like full trainer liner, they just cook hook over like the sort of bottom of your shoe and your heel i need to get some of those so that might be a plan for when i go to primark i might pick some of those up i think i do need to get some basics and just have a perusing primark i haven't been in there in absolutely ages and last time i went in there i walked straight back out because i was like oh i don't really like anything the line's long i just can't be bothered so i might give it another quick effort today but we're going to see how the traffic goes because i didn't appreciate the fact that there might be loads of traffic because of the coronation and i also want to get back so that I can actually watch it on TV. So, let's go. Right, I'm in the car and I need to try and adjust everything because we are still sharing the car at the moment. Wade's car is still in the garage. Every time they look at it, there's like something else wrong with it. It's like, I think it's just getting, he's just driven it way too much. Like, when we first moved out here, obviously he used to work in London and he used to drive there every day. So that's like, a hundred miles like just consistently so he's wrapped up his miles on his clock way too much and the car i think is just saying like enough like stop driving me now so we are thinking to get rid of that car and then get a new car but we were saying maybe we should just share this car for a little bit um because it's actually quite like my little trusty audi a1 i've had it since i first ever passed my driving test which is quite a while ago now um, but it does the job, you know. She's a lot more trusty, but oh, because he's been driving it, I have to reconfigure with the seat every time I get in here. Now it doesn't feel right. Let's put you down a bit. Is that comfy? Yeah. That feels comfy. All right, let's go. Because I just looked online and the stuff for the coronation starts quite early. Um, so... I do want to get back to watch it. I'm not too, oh, I don't think I'll make it back for the actual parade bit, but if I can get back to watch the actual church bit, then I'll be quite happy. So if not, I'm going to have to watch it on my way home, like have it on the car and just like listen to it, but we will see. So on the way. Welcome to Starbucks, Hi, can I get a um, soya latte with hazelnut, please? Yeah, is that medium? Yes, please. Anything else? That's it, thanks. 4.35, good luck, everyone. Thank you. My goodness. That took me about half an hour to work out how to cram all the stuff that I just got from Ikea in the car. Like, oh, look at it. I mean, who decided to go and get the biggest storage boxes known to humankind and try and squeeze that in the car whilst I was also getting a massive chest of drawers? And a mirror. Muddy, what is wrong with you? Like, please, what is wrong with you? I honestly can't even tell you. This is the problem when you're allowed to go shopping by yourself. Like, I'm going to get home and Wade is going to be like, what is that? Like, what did you even get? And I'm going to say, do you know what, babe? I'm not really sure. Like, I have no idea. So, you know, that's going to be it. That's, that's my answer. I don't know what overcame me. I decided that I wanted to go and get loads of stuff. And I was thinking about, oh, this is the problem, is that I've been scrolling and I've been seeing all these different projects that I can do. And I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. Why don't I just get it now? Because, like, get the stuff for it now. Because then what I can do is that it will, then, like, I can just start my project when I want. So I can decide on a day, oh, let's start that project here. And I've already got the stuff and I have to go out again. That's how my mind works. So I've now got three or four projects in the boot, not even in the boot, across the whole car. 
and then Wade's gonna say to me, oh, but you should have just gone when you wanted, like when you actually needed the stuff, and then you should have done it on the day that you done the project, so I'm getting it all now, because I was just gonna sit there and wait for you to do your project. And I'm gonna say, oh, but babe, these are my many projects. <laughs> oh gosh, this is our back and forth, absolutely mental. Well, I still need to go to B&Q because I need to get some paint, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna scrap off, yeah, I think I'm gonna scrap off Hobbycraft and scrap off Primark because I spent way too much on Ikea. So I'm gonna scrap those two off and go to B&Q instead. B&Q is just over there, but I've been standing outside in the rain for half an hour trying to squeeze that stuff. I had multiple people tell me, you need a new bigger car. I know. <laughs> But I was determined. I was thinking to myself, all right, if this isn't going to work, I'm going to have to either take back the humongous boxes or the mirror. And then I thought, you know what? I don't want to take back either of those. So I'm going to try my very best to get it in. And I got it in. And do you know what? I got it in and I can still see in my back mirror. So I think that is a job well done. Pat myself on the back for that. All right, I'm going to get some paint and then I'm going to think of a story to tell wade of how much stuff i've got oh my gosh also when i was in ikea i obviously got so consumed by looking at everything that i suddenly i was going down you know when you get i was gonna say do you know that one but if you don't go to this ikea i don't know if all the ikeas have them but there's a bit where you go from like the marketplace downstairs to where then you can get like the self-serve furniture area and you have to go down this sort of like escalator thing but it's the one where it like locks your trolley wheel so it doesn't move when i was going down that and i suddenly looked in my bag and i was like where is my phone where is my phone like where's my phone i left my trolley i ran down because you can't go back up against the rules i was thinking to break the rules but i was like no downstairs ran down got straight in the lift went straight back upstairs i went up to someone i was like oh my gosh i've lost my phone there's like i'll oh, have a look for it and if you don't find it then go and tell customer service i was like that's, that's help i thought he's gonna help me or at least phone it or something so i can hear it ringing but oh well so i then was like dashing round. luckily it was just one sort of section back so where that bit is is like the candles and the section back from that is where the picture frames are and i was obviously looking at picture frames <laughs> and my phone was just there like just on one of the picture ledge shelves like right in plain view anyone could have just picked that up luckily i was obviously shopping with very nice good citizens today because no one picked up my phone my phone was still there so panic averted panic stopped stopped the panic got my phone so right b and q let's go first b and q didn't have any colors pretty much they only had um like dark colors like um so obviously we're getting farrow and ball obviously i say obviously it's not obviously we are getting farrow and ball paint um because that's what we done on the walls and what my plan was was to do the same color on the chest of drawers as i did on the walls but they didn't have that color in there so i phoned wade up when i was in the other b and q near ikea and they just didn't really have many colors in there they only had a couple that we could potentially go with but they just wasn't right so he said there's no point getting it from there you might as well go to the b and q near home so i listened to him i'm now at the b and q near home just went in there and i managed to get not exactly the same color so not the stir about color that's on the walls but quite a nice color so i'm very happy with our choice um so got that i also picked up some wood as well and i've got all my project stuff coming together so i'm gonna go home now i've not eaten anything all day so i'm absolutely starving I'm trying to find stuff there's way too much stuff in this car like it's actually crazy how much oh, stuff i've fitted in this car like <laughs> look at it seats down wood over there by the window box by my head oh mental all right let's go home see if wade maybe i should get him something on the way back so he doesn't tell me off should i get him like a little treat or something <laughs> so he, he greets me pleasantly at the door because i've bought him something home instead of just bringing him nothing maybe i should get him something on the way home what should we get i might phone him actually and see if they want to get any food and i can pick up some food on the way home because i've not eaten yet either and then i need to get all this in and actually start doing something with it but there's so much here i'm thinking what i might do actually because we did a home sense thing yesterday we also went to b and m although i feel like he's already probably started packing away the b and m bag um ikea today b and q i might do a little haul when we get home that might be a good idea maybe a haul i am doing the project in a different video so the actual 
doing of this stuff here will be in the next video so make sure you tune in for that one subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't yet and if you're still here like this video comment engage so um yeah that will be in the next one so make sure you subscribe so you can see that video coming up because i'm quite excited to do that one and i've got how many products did i buy like three or four different things for me to do so quite a lot going on but anyways let me let me finally get home because i feel like i've been out for absolutely hours and it's taken way longer than what i thought it would so so got all the stuff out of the car wade was actually all right i thought he'd been like what have you done like what have you gone and bought but he was fine he was he actually was quite happy with most of the stuff i got which is great um they've gone to blue water now actually so i thought i'd quickly show you some of the bits that we've been getting since yesterday because we obviously went to home sands and then ikea today so i wanted to do a quick haul so we picked up this the skinny syrup syrup trio they did the big bottles but i thought these ones were quite cute they're small bottles zero cow zero sugar and then you get this um trio and it came with the mocha the vanilla and also the salted caramel so i thought that was quite good value and that was 8.99 so happy with that and then we saw these mugs in there absolutely fell in love with them and i think i mentioned that we'd broken a few mugs so we needed to get another set and there was actually four of these really handily because you know in home sense you might not actually see them again or you might only see one or two of them but there was four of these how pretty are they stoneware sort of speckled they've got that tan sort of line around the top of them i just am obsessed with them imagine them with a nice coffee frothy coffee on top can't wait to have a drink out of those in the morning and then we got a array of candles because can you go into home sense without getting candles i don't think so um got this one pineapple sunrise this one is like a really fruity scent we got actually a range of different scents this time what's so nice yeah, that is really nice. That one was $7.99. Um, oh, the mugs, actually, they was also really good value. There was £3.50 each. So for four of them, it was £14. Um, so I thought that was so good for a set of four. So I picked up those. Um, the pineapple sunrise candle. And then we also got, what's this one? Honey lavender. I really liked this one. The jar, I thought, was very pretty as well do, do you get candles sometimes just for the jar because i do um as long as they smell like all right i won't get like the really bad smelling candles just for the jar but i thought this was a very very pretty jar um i need to actually start using my jars instead of just chucking them away because i could probably use them for other things but yeah this one it was a really like i can't put my finger on it it's the smell i think it's because obviously the two different scents honey and lavender like together you don't think they'd work but they work so pitch that one up and then we got a range of these aromatherapy type ones they're called pex sniffs um this one's forest therapy and it says happiness and i really liked this one let me turn you around and show you because it had the three wicks oh i can smell it now like it smells so beautiful it had the three wicks and then it's like an amber jar and then i quite liked sort of label on it as well it is that very spa like label isn't it but smelling that even me just opening that with a little lid that smells wonderful so i'm very happy to burn that soon and then they also had these in there which i got two of because i thought we could have one in each bedroom and these are the aromatherapy deep sleep fragrance candles so sage and lavender i thought they'd be perfect to put in the bedrooms and just light before we're ready to go to bed um i thought that might be quite a good idea we also got this which is a pot because we needed we need some new pots to be honest um we've had our pots since we moved in well most of them and they are starting to die a little bit now like the non-stick on the bottom so i thought let's start adding some more bits to our pot collection and i thought we'd try this brand out which is home ical ical um cast aluminium casserole pot this one is and this is the colour ivory you can get all different colours of these but I thought ivory would be the best to have in the kitchen and we said if we like it then we'll go back and get a couple of other ones because they do other pots in the range so we got this casserole pot but they also do like a frying pan a saucepan and like a griddle pan as well but we didn't need frying pans because I actually just got two new frying pans and I do love them 
but it was more of the pot so i thought we'd give this one a go and yeah if we like it we'll go and grab some more but i thought oh yeah i think i like that one although it feels less heavy than what i thought the inside looks quite good looks like it could be quite good non-stick um, it's a versatile so you can have it on induction hobs or normal hobs and then the lid has that wooden top which I quite liked so we'll try that out next time we're a cooking what else did we get um oh we got these cushions you probably saw us picking these up got these cushions which are going to be for the garden it's our first purchase for the garden really <laughs> we haven't even got the furniture yet but we've got the cushions but I really liked those and they've got that sort of waterproof material on the outside so they won't get wet if it rains and then what else did we pick up oh and then we got these bed sheets for the new room that we've been decorating so i thought again they're quite nice they're white and they've got that sort of beige piping along the top so they'll be quite lovely and then maybe some of the other home sewing stuff is upstairs because i can't see it right now um, we did also pop into B&M and we got very boring cleaning stuff so just things like fabric conditioner, the outdoorable one, I love the outdoorable one, I think it smells so nice. Um, what else did we get? Toilet bleach, very fun, some more scrub daddy faces, faces, faces? dish daddy. Um, these are so hard to find. I like they're never in our local B&M but we went to the B&M near Home Sense in Lakeside yesterday and had them so picked up two of those we've got a new dishmatic some toilet stuff another flash spray that we needed to get Wade's favourite spray in the entire world is this one the Flora Midnight Blooms it does smell amazing and he's obsessed with it he sprays it everywhere like he sprays it on the sofas because it's for hard and soft surfaces so you can like spray it in the air you can spray it on your table it's the flora so it kills 99 percent bacteria and you can spray it on the say sofas beds <laughs> anything like that uh what else did we get I'm gonna be out of breath now for a second run up those stairs we also picked up this cushion which i am so in love with I love that sort of textury front to it. It's a very neutral colour. This is going to go on the bed in here. So you can see the bed behind me. Imagine that pillow perched on there with the panelling. How nice will that look? Um, and then, oh, here's another bit of sense actually before I show you the IKEA stuff. Was this. Now, I think I showed you this in the shop. I'm going to make you so proud, note to yourself. I just fell in love with it. Wade was saying maybe put this in the bathroom when I do the bathroom glow up. So, I also, I, the reason I liked it as well is one, obviously, the saying on it, but also, can you see, like, it's like a piece of paper that's been, like, ripped out of a book. I really like that. Beautiful. And it was only 12 99 I think that's such a good price. Considering that some of the prints that I get in this house with the frames are way more expensive than that, I thought that was a really good price. Okay, so, now, IKEA stuff. Um, I picked up chest of drawers so that's what all these boxes are here so these boxes and then there's a big box there as well that is the mom chest of drawers so they're the one and the one that i got is the low three drawer but like double so it's like double drawers low and then i also got the glass top for it as well which is sitting out there that's going to be obviously one of the projects um and then i also picked up some little bits so lint molars very boring um and then some candles because again i can't even go into ikea about getting candles like can't go into home sets about getting candles can't go in, uh, can't go into ikea about getting candles so i just picked up three of the small ones just to have them burning around so that it just smells lovely so that's a vanilla that's a berry and then i'm not really sure what this one is you might know the flower it's obviously in swedish so no idea but is it focusing don't know what flower that is but smells nice pick those up um and then this is for another project don't know if you're about to guess but a bowl <laughs> and then also there's another bowl in there so imagine two of these can you guess the secret project the next one smaller one but i'm quite excited about that one too and then i picked up this tray as well which i thought was really nice um i am intending to paint it so it's not going to be this color but i just like the shape of it 
and then how it's got that lip and then there, there was other ones in there which i was really um and ah against like whether to get a lazy susan like type one or whether to get one that had handles or there's another one as well that was like a weaved straw like material but i didn't really like those ones i thought this one was the the best so i picked that one up and then i saw these shelves which i this is where i left my phone when I ran back round to try and find my phone, it was sitting on one of these shelves. So obviously I was so engrossed in looking at the shelves that I didn't, that I forgot why my phone was there. But I got these, these are the picture ledge shelves. We've got a really long black one that's up on our sort of hallway landing as you go up to the third floor. And I saw this one, I've never seen these before, where they like this different texture. It's almost like a very distressed look, like it was white and it's sort of worn away type look but i thought it was really nice and i thought it could look quite nice in here so i got two of those actually um and then get those up. i also picked up a throw for the bed because again i've actually got an idea for the bed um instead of buying a whole new bed because the bed's actually fine it does what it needs to do it's functional and i think it's quite a nice bed we just don't like the pink color and i just can't imagine trying to re-upholster that. So I was thinking maybe I could cover the top and then if I got a bedspread, then it would also cover the bottom as well. So you would hardly see any pink. So that's what I'm aiming for. So I picked up a bedspread for that. Uh, this is B&Q stuff, fancy rollers and all that jazz. Um, I got this basket because I can't again leave Ikea without some sort of basket and some faux flowers for a bit of another DIY thing I want to do. But I got this basket in there. And then I got some photo frames to go on the picture shelves. I quite liked these ones. They have like a sort of beveled edge of the frame. And then they're the ones where it's like a big white thing and then you put the picture in the middle of it. I thought that would look quite nice. And maybe we can get some nice pictures of Bonnie or us. Maybe we should do like an engagement photo shoot or something and get some nice photos. Because we don't actually have nice photos together. We have quite a lot of photos that we've like taken ourselves or someone's taken it of us like very quickly. But no like profesh photos. So maybe we should get a few of those and stick them in the frame because that might look quite nice. Although if this becomes the guest room that might be a bit weird if they come in here and they're like our oh, engagement photos. But and if we sleep in here then it becomes our room. So I don't know. <laughs> maybe. We'll decide. Um, and then some more foliage. I got some fake foliage. What do they call them in IKEA? Vegkas. And then I also got this um, to try by the back door because we've still got our Christmas mat. How bad is that? We're in May and we've still got a Christmas mat st sitting there. In, it's the inside as well, in the living room. And every time I look over there, I'm like, come on, guys, like get another mat already. Um, but every time I try to look for one, I never see the one that I like. I did see one yesterday in Home Sense actually, but it had like a red border. Like the, the inside of it was that sort of beigey colour. It's the same similar material, but it was all beige. And then it had a nice ribbon thing around it, but it was red. And I was like, can't put red in the living room. So I saw this one. And I thought the colours of it might look quite nice in the living room. Maybe we'll try that in a minute, actually. Let's try that together in a sec. Um, oh, then we also got some bedding. This actually was bamboo bedding, which I was so impressed with. It's the bamboo um, sheet. And normally, they are so pricey when I get them off Panda. I love our Panda bedding. It's like my favourite bedding ever <laughs> that's why one of the reasons why i think i love sleeping in that green room so much because it's full bamboo panda bedding but it's just very pricey and i saw this in tk max tk max home sense and it was 15 pounds so i was like bargain let me get that so i picked that up and then everything else is just pretty much decorating stuff um oh actually i did get a mirror as well from ikea that's probably the only thing left let me bring this mat with me so we can try it but I got this mirror here. I don't know if you're about to see it. It's just a very plain square mirror. Again, I'm gonna got an idea for that to judge it up a little bit. So, as I said when I was going through that, I did buy quite a few things that I'm thinking of for projects. There's the other bowl. The other bowl that I was thinking of sitting down there. All right, should we try this mat? What do we think? Oh, I actually quite like it. Ignore all the mess around it. Obviously, I'm still in the process of doing that. 
and it is a bit of a mess around it. That's just the mat that I just moved just now. I actually think it looks quite nice. I think it goes with the colour of the wall. Do you like it, Bon? Oh, look, there's ketchup there too. Gosh, messy pot we are today, aren't we? Do you like it? Do you like the new mat? I think that's quite nice. See what Wade thinks, but I think that looks one million times better than what was there. I mean, look at the state of it. Don't, don't shame me, this is very embarrassing. <laughs> look at the state of it. This is what was by the back door since December, and it's now got all this stuff all over it. Doesn't look great, does it? We're gonna get rid of that bond. Should we chuck that away? Should we chuck it away? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Sorry, Bon. Let's get off of it. Oh, can't believe we had that for so long. Not good, is it? No, I actually really like that one. I'll see what Wade says when he gets back. But it's ten times, million times better than the Christmas one. So it's definitely going to stay there for now. So... So yeah, that's all the stuff that we've got over the last couple of days. Um, I feel like I've shopped probably far beyond what I should have and what I was intending to this weekend. But hey-ho, that's what happens. Um, but I hope you've had an enjoyable time watching these last few days with us. I didn't really know what this vlog was going to turn into, actually. And it ended up turning into a bit of a home buying extravaganza so hope you've enjoyed spending those days with us and going around the shops please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you are new here and we will see you in the next one bye